final segment for for today's pod. Um, a good uh, one. I was a good question you posed, Dan. Was what is one aspect of playing or coaching or watching sports that has helped strengthen your own personal faith? Um, whether it's something you experienced, something you watched in the past, or, what, or something you've seen more recently. Let's let's start with you, Drew. Uh, yeah, it, it's um, sports has always been one of those things where it's like it it really just teaches you, like when you're down, you get back up, right? And I think in uh, especially during these last couple of years of of struggling through, you know. Um, uh, COVID and, and the pandemic and stuff and really getting down, especially in the church when we had to close the doors and stuff. Um, we didn't give up. We, we got back up. We kept, kept doing services the way we could. And, uh, yeah. And now I think we're, I think God has been rewarding us. Our church is actually on, uh, on Easter Sunday, we had 84 people, which is the most we've had. Yes. Since we've even been in Selker. And uh yeah. Oh yeah. Hand clap. But yeah, uh so yeah, just sticking with it, not giving up. Uh when you're down, you're never out. So yeah, those are the things that sports teach you and have stuck with me. Yeah, perseverance, uh very key aspect to the personal growth. Uh Dan, how about yourself? Yeah, for me, it was uh, something that stuck out is uh, if you look at the playoffs that are going on today in the NBA, you see teams uh, teams that are working, that are doing better are the teams that have been around for a long time. They've been uh, a, a cohesive unit for a long time. You look at Boston, you look at the Raptors, you look at the Suns and the Jazz and the those kind of teams that are competing at a high level because they've been together for a long time and that theme of teamwork has been on my heart and um even teamwork at uh persevering and teamwork at uh, at the church when the clo doors had to close and teamwork with you guys uh doing this pod uh, I, I did a short episode myself and it's just not the same it's really not need you boys and uh knowing that you can have you know brothers in arms that that believe and share the same values as you which are the biblical truths uh, to pick you up when you're when you're struggling when you're when you go astray they'll call you out on it you know there's uh, something special about that and that kind of community so that's what I'd say sports has taught me yeah continuity is a big thing and teamwork is a big thing as well so yeah definitely something that ties into also pandemic time as well so that's awesome um, I'll give you guys a little anecdote from my life uh, grade 12 we're playing volleyball Tim Bach is we're in a game and Tim Bach is just crushing these serves. And the other team is definitely weaker than us. And uh, Tim, I think, went on a streak of like 12 points in a row, like just aces. And um, so obviously the other team is very demoralized. And then he served it out of bounds on purpose. Uh, he, was, he was very smart, made it look like it was going to be close, but he served it out of bounds on purpose. And uh, after the game, I, I remember this because – uh, Mark Glora came, we had our little post game chat and uh, Mark Glora, who was our coach at the time, was livid. He was just absolutely livid. Even though we won the, the game um, by by Tim serving out of bounds, he didn't respect his opponents. And that's one thing I've seen in sports and, and in our culture is, you know, when we're playing sports or, or being competitive, we're not giving our best, right? Um, Kyrie flipping the bird to, to Boston to the fans. That's not respecting your. That's not respecting the fans. The fans are going to say whatever they're going to say. You're getting paid millions of dollars. This is just what you have to deal with. And of course, there's lines that can't be crossed. We get that. But as a professional athlete, if somebody's swearing at you, you, you deal with it. As a player, you want to give your best. You want to make sure you're in shape. You're coming into training camp in the best shape possible. And we referenced Michael Jordan already. Like the, we all watched the last dance and of course he was harsh, but he was pushing his team because he wanted them to be ready at the end of the day. And then respect for your coaches. These people are put in a position of authority for a reason. And that's something that it, 
and I was at first, you know, when, when Mark Glor was talking about this, I was like, ah, yeah, you know, but like they were really down and whatever. But they're not going to get better if we take it easy on them. And, and then uh, thinking back through my entire life, there's been many teams where I was like the 12th guy on the bench. And I didn't get better because I wouldn't have gotten better unless I was pushed. Right? So respect and, and giving your all is kind of something that really stuck with me in my faith journey. And, and how this ties into my faith is when... I'm feeling down or I'm not feeling like God's with me. Respect what God's done in your life in the past. Look back and see, okay, there's a thousand things that could have gone wrong, but God moved to make it go right. Respect what he's done in the past because he'll take care of you in the future. So that's what stuck with me. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, quick scenario because Drew, I think, was in grade 9 and 10. I don't know if it was his teams or if it was the girls' team. But at some point, they were playing the deaf school in volleyball. And I don't know if it was Drew's team in junior varsity or if it was the girls' team. I'm pretty sure it was the girls' team. And this one girl served 25 times in a row. Yeah. Would you guys do that? <laughs> 100%. 100%. Drew. There's no, there's no way. What about you? Not. Yeah, I probably would. I don't know. I would miss. I, I know I'd miss after at some point, but 25 well, yeah, I, times in a row. I, I don't think I'm capable of doing it. <laughs> I, I would if I could. Okay. I just had to point I don't care out. who I'm playing. I want to win. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're a killer there. I guess so. What about compassion? What about compassion? <laughs> I, can, I give him compassion after the game. I would need to learn sign language, but... Uh. <laughs> all right my friends that's a wrap for the sports reverends this week we hope you can follow us on all social medias follow us like us share the, the the link make a comment in the comment section and hey get engaged get on twitter get on twitter because elon elon has taken over and we can now speak our truths with no Not <laughs>